After life insurance, please hold. Hello and welcome to Limbo. How can I help you today? Where am I? What's going on? I, I see. Please take a seat and someone will be with you in a minute. Please, take a seat. Now let's have a little look at your file. Actually, I just want to know what's going on. The receptionist wasn't very uh, helpful. I see. You've been hit by a car. Still a little bit concussed, are we? I'm sorry, what? Don't worry though. My name is Amanda and I'll be your personal consultant. My goal is to ensure that you have the best possible life after death. Hit by a car? Yes, by a car. So, we have a few <laughs> options. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Anyway, now that that's over, I want to tell you a little bit about where you are. You're in a fun, dreamlike state you humans call limbo, so we got to work quick. Now we have a few packages on offer for you. Afterlife insurance? Why would I even need that? Don't you just go to heaven or hell or walk into the light or something? You know how people take out insurance for their pets or cars or home and contents? This is a little bit like that, but for death. We provide comprehensive plans for people in predicaments like yourself to ensure that they experience the afterlife of their dreams. So basically I have to pay to die? Think of it like a payment plan. Afterlife pay, if you will. If I have to die, I just want to make sure that my pets are being taken care of and fed. And maybe I can have a spa, a bubble bath. Yes, the bath is an added extra in our day spa option. Wow, that sounds wonderful. Indeed, the fact that you're here also means that you've been exclusively invited to join us in terrorizing the living as well. It's a mandatory part of the experience, unlike happy times around the corner. I don't think there's anyone I want to mess with. Maybe Karen. She did take my yogurt from the staff fridge that one time. Yogurt? From a communal fridge? That's the best you've got? Do you want to fuck up the lives of those still existing or not? I don't know. I don't want to hurt anybody. Well, by the looks of your file, this is nothing new for you. I know what I did. And then, when I needed
needed to poop. I didn't want to go in his toilet and clog it up, and so I went in the litter box and blamed it on the cat. Okay, that's weird, but not enough to get you sent down here. The cat had died two weeks earlier. Yep, that'll do it. What's that noise? Sounds like you're fading quick, girl. I need a vision, but you want the best possible afterlife, yes? Shit. Um, Karen. Bitch stole my food. Fucking Karen, right? Don't worry, this is in your best interest. So now you've signed up for the Devil's Day Spa plan. Devil's Day Spa? Perfect. You're all signed up. Should I have told her the bubbles are molten lava? Ah, she'll figure it out for herself. How'd it go? Gosh, she sounds so dumb. The cute ones always are. Do you want to grab lunch? I was thinking Cuba Cubana. Your shout. Dude, she blamed her shit on a dead cat. No way! That's almost as crushing as the murderer last week. Mm. 